Hey there everyone, it's Thackard and welcome back to another Sneak Peek Sunday, the video series where I go over on Steam, I find a demo of an early access game, I play it for an hour or two, and then I give you my opinions about how the game is and whether I am going to delete it off my hard drive never to play again, or I am going to follow it and see how it develops, or will it actually get onto my wish list for something that I really do want to play in the future. Today we are going to be talking about Egypt Frontiers. So Egypt Frontiers is a player, uh, uh, in the game Egypt Frontiers, players explore ancient Egypt, constructing authentic pyramid and making strategic decisions. The game offers the opportunity to learn and about real history or create their own vision of civilization in both strategy and first person modes. So a couple of things here. i looked at the tags here when I was looking at demos and it was like simulation, adventure, city builder, historical. And I'm looking up here and it's going strategy and first person. Okay. I like my city skylines. I like my civilizations. I like my first person stuff. So Let's see what this is about. It piqued my interest. Plus, Egypt is just a great place for a game, you know? We need more games that focus on ancient civilizations. This game is being created by Frogville Games and being published by Playway. Scroll down here. It says it's going to be a single-player game with Steam achievements. And let's scroll down even further, looking at some of the things here. We will take a look at the system requirements. The minimum system requirements is going to be Windows 64-bit, either 8.1 or 10. A processor of at least Intel Core i5-5090 uh, or an AMD Ryzen 5 1500X. 16 gigabytes of memory an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 780 2 gig with version 11 of DirectX and 40 gigabytes of available space. For the recommended, it is saying the processor should be an Intel Core i5-6600K or an AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. I'm using an 1800X, so I do hit the recommended, but as always, it's an early access game, so it will probably be frame wise a little choppy. All right. Um, and then graphics for recommended, it says an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 8 gig or comparable. All right. How is Egyptian Frontiers going to impress us? Let's get in game and see what exactly it is all about. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at the options menu here. Gameplay options, we can choose from a couple different languages. Auto save, I'm assuming this might be every five minutes. Doesn't quite say what five means, but um, my assumption is it's gonna be minutes. Field of view, sensitivity. Photo mode, head bob, I think I'm going to turn that one off. Run in the background, invert, uh, mouse access, developer information. Your general stuff. Graphics. List of different resolutions that it has here. Windowed full or uh, windowed full screen. Render engine quality. This is a Unity game. So the graphic settings are little simplistic as most are texture quality anti-aliasing v-sync nice little pop-ups telling you exactly what each one kind of does vegetation global illumination shadow refresh rate shadow rendering distance ambient inclusion bloom and volumetrics 
audio page. We have separate slider sliders for music environment and player. When you hover over each, you kind of get a sound that plays. Let's hold that one down a little bit. We'll pull the music down a little bit more. And then controls. We have basic movement controls. We have some action controls. Con uh, construction stuff to rotate items, user interface. And if you click on these, you can rebind them. So there you go. All right. Let's see exactly what this is all about. New game. I believe the pyramid once had a swivel door that weighed 20 tons. Interesting. All right. Ooh, a little bit of chop here. Okay, a lot of bit of chop. Okay, I've adapted some, um, changed some stuff here. It looks quite, it's a lot smoother now. I'm not going to dock at anything considering that, you know, early access games have not been fettled with and had all the things adjusted yet. So all right, what we got here, rope sticks and stone shards. All right, speak with the vizier. I'm assuming that's you. Vizier, at last, sir, it took you uh, some time, eh? We had some trouble with our ship. Oh, I see. Well, things have changed, and the pharaoh commanded that your crew should be sent to the pyramid without you. What should I do then? As of now, we need some help with the construction of the Shrine of Horus. Let's begin with some basics. What, uh, do you have tips for me? Start by learning how to use the workbench. There should be one nearby. Craft an angle and come back to me. Any advice about how to use a workbench? Interact it with it uh, with F and fit the pieces into the shape to craft the uh, triangle. All right. You will find various types of quests during the game. Some of them will be available to collect from the notice boards and some will be assigned directly from people in need. All quests of our favors are available to investigate from the quest book T. You can also find all tutorial info in the help book H. Use them freely whenever you need guidance. Gotcha. This is workbench. Serves as your crafting space. Choose an option and fit proper pieces into the shapes to successfully craft. F. All right, we're going to make an angle. Oh, okay. So Q and E to spin it. Quick. All right. There we go. The most important tool of a architect. Okay. Mr. Vizier. Crafted the triangle. Yes, this will do. Now, if you don't mind, we could use a canopy here between the wood and poles. Take these ropes as you'll need them to build one. Also, you'll find some wooden logs in the container nearby. We'll start straight away. Build small structures, equip a triangle, choose an option from the list, adjust the position if needed, mouse wheel rotation and click left mouse button to start construction. Gather all the needed resources and fill in the highlighted portions. All right. Can we equip this? They like uh, one. There we go. Can it be? Where did he want it? I mean, I guess I can put it anywhere. 
Or did he want it in a specific place? Probably can't be in the indicated area. Over here. Over here? That person with a... So we're just going to build one right here. All right. Oh, before it wasn't turning green. Okay. So what do we need? Some wood. F. Simple enough. There we go. Now we have a canopy. We need some rope though. I picked up some rope earlier. Why so I, I like rope. Uh we'll drop the rope. Pick up the rope. We just use it from the toolbar? Or no? Doesn't seem to want to. Oh, there we go. Just need to look at the blue parts. Gotcha. All right. Speak to me. I built a canopy. Wonderful. You seem to be ready to build the shrine in the southern part of the village. You will need some workers to make it happen. Example, the notice board, word icon on the compass, and help people in need to assemble your team. We need at least four people. The more, the better. Make sure the compass, uh, to read the compass top uh, part of the screen as it contains a lot of information. Also, you should visit the notice board and see if anyone in town is looking for help. And last thing, the, uh, take these recipes for the basic tools. You need them very soon. All right. Well, I have perks here. So, sun's rather bright. I'm assuming this is the message board. I'm gonna do them all, right? Just, just grab all of them. Quests. Proper color. Go talk to the captain in the harbor. Grab for me, and I pay. Beer lover. Wonderful. Someone needs you to harvest and deliver some papyrus. A stable man. Find out. What is going on by talking to the civilian? Uh, help the woodworking station in the harbor and uh, help us build the pottery station. Gotcha. All right, let's talk to you. Says the captain. Any problems? Look at this mess. Now look at me. I could use your help with these big stones. Sure, why not? So then these big stones, not those big stones. That's a big stone, too. Clear the pure of the stone blocks. Gotcha. It's a fetch quest. Ish. Can you just put these anyways? Put them over here by these guys. You. Can't trap them. Oh. I, I was two feet to the left. I needed to be two feet to the right. Gotcha. So we are currently offloading a ship carrying heavy stone blocks. I know what we can invent a forklift. How about that? Or a dolly. What about a dolly? So it appears, oh, I can carry multiple ones. Okay, I can carry six at a time. I was figuring these are heavy stone uh, bricks. I can't carry all of them at the same time. Nope, Superman. Look at that, all six. <laughs> Just, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah.
All right, congratulations on achieving your first level. Every time you level up, you get one perk points. You can spend your perk points in the perk menu. Speak. I've cleared the pier. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I would have uh, I would have to beg those drunk idiots. Do you know anyone capable of joining a team and building the Shrine of Horus? Fortunately, no, but have you heard of the Vantage Point? No, go on. Well, then just visit the highest building in town. There should be this, uh, this man that works miracles. You won't regret it. All right, thank you. All right, P for perks. So we have a perk point. All right, lotions that lower your stamina usage while running. Gotcha. Sandals, a pair of boots that protect your feet and allow you to run faster. Handyman. An ability to occasionally skip building costs while constructing. That sounds super good. Artisan. A set of abilities to assign more items in the hotbar. And the power you need to carry more items in your inventory. Uh, so strong back and handyman sound really good. The rest are sound nice as well. I think I'm going to go strong back. Hearing more things in my inventory sounds wonderful. All right. You, what do you got? Oh, we are waiting for you with the construction. Let's get to work. Okay, sure. Ah, we're just moving stuff around. I can do this. I think I have a saw now. So we need some wood pieces. Can I pick up any of this stuff that's just lying around? I bet you I can pick up these. Maybe. No. Can't pick up those either. Can pick up these. All right. I can pick them, most of them up. All right, so we can carry six things at a time. Building another canopy appears. All right, uh, let's grab that rope. We already did. Tie it down. Is that it? All right. Hello. I finished constructing your woodworking station. Fantastic. I've heard that you're looking for some workers to build the Shrine of Horus. You can count on me and my brother. Excellent. Wait. What? What's the problem? My saw. Have you seen my saw? I was about to teach those guys how to work with wood properly, but I must have lost the only tool. <laughs> the only tool I needed today. I'll do my. I already found it. It's right here. Here you go. Oops. Yeah, I, I might have stolen his saw. <sighs> Oopsies. Speak. How are you? I have a favor to ask. Can you help me finish my house? All the materials are here, but I can't find any energy. He is really exhausted and the cargo is coming. Sure thing. Thanks. I was worried I would not be able to finish by the end of the day. Are we just picking up stones? Yep. All right. We're going to place said stones. Tell you what, this whole ancient Egyptian building thing was pretty easy. It's rather simple. Are these just extra stones? I guess we can... Maybe these run around the other side. Look at that. We even neatly stacked them all. Another canopy. These folks do love their canopies. I mean, it makes sense, you know, hot desert sun and all. Question, can I, uh, since you're not using those anymore, can I take those for my projects? I'm just asking. You can say no. 
Here we go. That must be the papyrus that we need to get. Fake. Finish constructing your house. He owes me, yes. Could you help me build this uh, shrine of Horus? He, oh, we got another person for our group. So we have three of eights. I bet you this is the high point. There we go. We got a person. What's up? Good day. How can I help you? How good is my imagination? Quite good. Why? Go up the ladder and look towards the construction site of the pyramid. That ladder. You know, the one that's a ladder and not the stairs. Ooh. <laughs> it's like I'm on the ground level of a civil civilization animation of the construction of the Great Pyramids. <laughs> you know? Anything else, old man? Nope, we just got to use our imagination. There it goes. That's exactly how the aliens built it. They just beamed it in. All right, so we got four of eight. Oop, we found another person. Speak with me. Hello. I need some, uh, I heard you needed some papyrus. We have it, not yet. That's a shame. Come back when you find some. You should craft a sickle, which we have, and use it to cut uh, the papyrus plants that grow on the banks of the river. All of a sudden, an alligator comes and gets me. Ooh. Wait a second. Did I see something glowing? Okay, here we go. Right. Here you go. Uh, yes, here you go. Wait, what is this? How am I supposed to use it? I need something to write on here. Maybe this crafting uh, recipe will help you. Okay. Let's uh, head back to this crafting bench here. Iris. Oh, I can just craft it by hand. Gotcha. All right. Thought I was going to have to go to my workbench. Speak with me. Uh, yes, here you go. That's exactly what I had in mind. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you know uh, someone who could help me build the Shrine of Horus? Yes, I will contact my husband and brother so they can help you build the shrine. Excellent. Six of eight. Okay, I'm the supervisor. You know, we get off the boat and we're a supervisor. That's like the American dream, except we're in Egypt. All right. Sign the workers using the table. I wonder if I have extra ones now. Hello. Plan. Plan. Builders. We have column production, stone production, delivery, columns and stone, production of planks. We have eight of 12 available workers. Okay. So let's do. I guess I need more hammers. Healthy meal. We have a saw. I mean, that looks like it, right? Oops. Oh, people. Rope. Are these guys that are making these now? All right, they're producing. They're producing stuff. Gotcha. 
I can't carry all that. Get a pump. Okay, hang on a second. What's this? Start fire. Put those right there. Are we gonna? Campfire. Um. Fuel. Sticks. Starting fire. Is this so we can make food? Perhaps. Use this to cook food. Gotcha. A healthy meal needs fish, onion, and cucumber. None of those I have. Interesting. Okay. I got stuck for a second. It stuck me on the roof. Oh, there we go. Now we can get some fish, onions, and cucumbers. And we'll take them all. Let's cook some dinner for these folks. A healthy meal. Whomp. 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 Yep, there we go. Let's do another healthy meal. Whomp. Whomp. And whomp. Alright, we have a couple of healthy meals. Can we now put some more people on duty? Plan. All right, we have healthy meals, so we can now have people delivering columns and stone for us. Let's carry some of this stone. We'll, we'll do some carrying of stone. What's up, guys? Looks like we primarily need pillars right now. Up. Oh, big whop. How do I? I need a ladder. Guys, throwing giant pieces of stone at me. Well, that one was easier. I just stood on the blocks. Yeah, these guys are building it. It just takes them a minute. That's all. Boom. You look at that. <laughs> How the hell do I get up there? Oh, wow. Okay. The builders did their part, I guess. Jeez. Um, who's building the ladder? I mean, seriously. Hang on. Is that what this is actually for? Am I just been stupid? We actually build like ladders. Like a uh, rope and crafting. I don't need to build any more rope. What I need is I need like a scaffold. Just looking around, seeing if they have any scaffoldy things. Yeah, how the hell am I supposed to get up there? Um, ah, 
This was probably what they were talking about when I wasn't paying attention because I was trying to do something else. Turn it like this. There we go. Now where do I have to go? Over here. All right. Can I move this guy? Move. Let's rotate you so I can climb up on you. All right, and uh, over there now. That's how we do. That's how we do. Okay, that was that was a quick bit of roofing. Report to the manager. We're done. <laughs> uh, we had finished building the main structure of the temple. What's next? Take this chisel and hammer and use it to sculpt the benches and statues of Horus. Okay. Take this. Did he actually give them to me? Yes. Okay. Removing the scaffolding. What if we remove the bottom piece? Just have everything fall. Like that. I mean, you have to remove the scaffolding. This all makes sense. There you go. Sculpt Horus. Ting, ting, ting. exactly how the ancient Egyptians did it. Boom. Look at that. Sculpt the stone benches. Six. Talk to the priest and end the demo. Okay. Are you supposed to be the priest? The high priest. Hello, what you have for me? I have finished working on the shrine of Horus. The gratitude of Horus is imminent. I will personally report to the Pharaoh that your ambitions should be taken elsewhere higher. Excellent. So that was the end of the demo. It appears to have locked up. All right. So what do I think of this? Um, I love this setting. I absolutely love the setting. The setting is wonderful. Ancient Egypt. There's so much really great storytelling that can go there. I'm waiting for like more games. I mean, I, I, games like Assassin's Creed that go into these period specific times and then do stuff. I absolutely love that type of thing. So this, 
the setting, great fun. The fact that you're building stuff, uh, it's very simple right now. It's basically variations of like, oh, fetch quest. You're going to move this from one place to another. Or you're going to gather a little bit of resources for this person. So you gather some resources, you make some paper. You're going to build, you're going to build a thing. And the, the building is really simple. You know, you put down a blueprint and then you just grab some things and pop, 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 pop. And there it goes. Uh, the fact that you can do some managerial stuff where you have people uh, making blocks or the pillars or other bits and pieces that you need. That's nice. Um, I think this could be interesting. You are just building a very small st structure in this, a little temple. The question will be, how much more stuff do you do? You know, because it sounds like you'll go through different building projects. And if there are different ways to go about them, maybe focusing more on some of them where you're using the minions, for lack of a better term, to build stuff versus you all doing it by hand. Or is it all just... I, I hope it's not more of the same just theme of, oh, I just grab these and I just snap them into place, but just on a bigger scale, you know, where you have to figure out your scaffolding puzzle, you know? But yes, I think this one's pretty good. The optimization on it right now is really shaky. Um, I had to knock down all of my settings to about medium to be able to get about 40 FPS. Uh, that being said, outside of this long freeze here for some reason, not quite sure what happened. It actually prayed pretty good. We didn't have any other crashes. Uh, the perk system is very rudimentary. Not much there. Do I want to keep, uh, do I want more information in this game? So it comes down to this. Am I deleting the game from my library never to look at it again? Am I going to follow the game or am I going to wish list the game? And after playing this demo with the theme of it and the, I just like building stuff, building of it, uh, building stuff with it and the managerial stuff. I actually quite like this. Um, so I think this is actually going to go onto my wish list. So this is going to be a wish list item. I hope you guys have enjoyed this as well. Once again, this was Egypt Frontiers. It is available as a demo currently on Steam. It's just this front section, but uh, hey, try it out. See if you like it and maybe add it to your wish list as well. You all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you next week where we will continue on with another game for Snake Peak Sunday. See ya. Goodbye. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You guys are what makes this channel grow. So hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post something new or go live. And please always remember to bring it no matter what you do.